Hello YouTube and welcome back to my Let's Play of Final Fantasy 7. It's part 73 and I'm wearing a hat. I thought I'd inform you of that fact even though it has no real bearing on the Let's Play at all. Anyway, when we last left off we got to this place after waking the sleeping forest and I can't remember the name of it, but there's a lot of white crystal stuff so we'll call it the white crystal place. Anyway, we got into this little hut here and I think we're going to take a rest. Um, did I trigger the rest by running over? If I remember how to trigger it. It will go down. I need to come and climb this ladder again. I can't even sleep properly. And I thought I was really bad. Ah, here we go. Goes to bed. Get some rest. Yes. Ah, oh, that peaceful rest music. Just makes me feel like nothing can go wrong. Cloud, I feel it. The score has changed. Yeah, Cloud, come on, snap out of it. Aerith is here. Presence I have not felt since, like, two episodes ago. Oh man, Sephiroth. Yeah, that's what he just said. Can you tell? I, I just can, okay? Don't question it. <sighs> it's not an excuse. I was held up. I have no excuse. Get out off of that thing! And don't try to sing funk, I can't do it. Alright, we need to find Aerith, and it was very dark. Yes, it was. Now, um... Actually, I'm gonna do something here that I guess is a little cheap. Possibly. But I'm not above doing cheap things. I'm going to equip the water ring. Which means that the water will not affect me. You know what, does Barry have an accessory? You know, what does that do? Protect against the poison? Yeah. Poisonous. Poison. We're gonna use protect vest. Like real men. Real men wear vests. Sweater vests. <laughs> That'd be funny. Like, you have an item that's a sweater vest in an RPG and it gives you more protection. That was an odd area transition. Okay, we have to get back to where we were, so. I'm totally gonna make it there without getting lost. As it turns out, I went the wrong way. Um, I was supposed to go back the way I came, so I'm back here now. Um, and you're supposed to basically, to show you, you come out of the hut and you exit this way. So yeah, my bad there. Been a while since I played. But anyway, I believe we're trying to go this way. Actually going the right way. Hey, it's the White Forest. Maybe Vincent's cape can have a fu can have a fight here. That'd be fun. Running towards the light, as I said, symbolic, and we'll remove that pointer because it's kind of noticeable. Very useful for me, though. Sheesh. Ah, here we go. I know nothing wrong will happen here. Run down the staircase. I hope this is the way we're supposed to go, because I already messed this up a bunch, so. A castle? I love castles. It's like Castle Cornelia. What do we have in here? A save point. Well, that's useful. Almost makes me think we're going to fight like a boss or something here. Hey, who's that? It's our good friend Aerith. Aerith, how do I get down to you? Blink twice if you see me. Hmm. Okay, this way. We won't save again because saving is for chumps. People don't know what they're doing. Oh, we're gonna have to hop. Hop! Hey, Aerith. Yeah, what's up? Stay back, man. Oh, I gotta go by myself. Good thing totally nothing bad is about to happen. Because it's something bad were to happen. Wow, I'm really bad at this. Alright, come on. There we go. Hop like a rabbit. Hey, 
Hey, Aerith. What's up? Oh, no! I playing the bad music. I don't know if I should talk to Aerith now. Hello, Aerith. What? Um, I'm leaving. I'm not going to kill Aerith. What? It's not letting me leave. Apparently I'm trying to kill her. And I'm dancing. Oh, crud. I don't think I'm doing this right. Oh, crud. Yeah, seriously, Claude, stop it. Sorry about that. Uh, the game kind of compelled me there. That stunk. Um, I'm sure she's just sleeping or not. Oh. That sure is comforting. You tell him, Cloud. You know, I've honestly, uh, I knew the scene was coming, and I knew it was coming, and I watched it a while back, and I was surprised that it's still, even knowing it was going to happen, very emotional. Well, maybe it's just me, I'm getting easily emotionally uh, connected to things, but I can really see why it affected people the way it did back when the, uh, it first came out. Yeah, I mean... I am. Puppet. But you are. And now we have a boss fight. It's really neat how the music carries over into the boss fight like this. But, um... Oh, crud. Alright, where is, uh... Phoenix Town? Come on, big shot. And everyone's theme, I think, is... It's one of my favorite Final Fantasy themes, actually. And it's really interesting to me, because it's... Kind of associated with a really sad portion of the game, but it's not inherently a completely like sad song. I mean, it's got some major key stuff in it, which I find really interesting personally. 
Oh man, is he gonna kill Tifa again? Okay, that's stupid. I guess I just should just fight him with Cloud. Is there, he can't. Can he hurt Cloud with blue eyes? No. Well, we'll just attack then. So I guess we'll just keep doing what we're doing. I guess this is kind of a cheap way to win the boss fight, but... Do what you have to do, right? And unfortunately I can't use any liver breaks, but I think I have a summon. I'm gonna choke him out. Oh, cool, death blow. Which I'm sure will do like two damage. It's a really interesting boss fight. He's using Reflect, so can't use Offensive Magic, or we reflect it right back at me. But if it was water, I'd just absorb it. So this is great. Aerith is dead. Tief and Barret are knocked unconscious. Cloud is only alive thanks to the use of an item that saps health. Good going, team. I think this is a real team victory here. Aqualung is a very devastating attack. Might have been made more sense to give it to Tifa since I think she has the life material, but oh well. She could raise the others from the dead, but eh. Not to mention she has the most powerful summons, so. Let's try let's try uh, using a Phoenix down on her here. Because, like, he's going to use blue light on Cloud. I'll use a Phoenix down on Tifa. She'll be like, hey, I'm alive. And then she... Gosh darn it. Well, that plan didn't work. So I guess we'll just keep this up. I, you know, I should probably sense him, see how much health he has. Oh, I can check. Yeah, he's got about 3,000. Weak against Earth. Oh, man, if I had, like, uh, Titan. I don't know if, does he, re does he reflect summons? I don't know. I don't think I even have Titan equipped. I even, blah, 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 blah. I even have Titan equipped. Oh. So wait, I can't move now? Okay. I guess we outlasted it. Awesome. Alright, so we'll have Tifa use a summon. Uh, Bahamut. He rocks. Oh, you know what? I should have had Cloud uh, revive uh, Barrett. That way Barrett could be around. They say this kills Genova. Oh well, <laughs> not like Barrett needs experience. I do really like this theme though, I think it's very nice. It really fits this theme well. And of course Barrett doesn't get any experience. Oh well. One of our friends just died. We got a wizard bracelet out of it, so I don't think that was quite worth Aerith dying now, unfortunately. Because you are be a cuz. Be a cuz? I'm a puppet? Be a cause? Of what? Puppetry? I guess you are a puppet of the player. Man, this is a Hideo Kojima game. We totally be going meta right now. I'm sorry.
I mean, even with the incredibly, like, poor graphics by today's standards and a poor translation, I still find this scene very, very touching. fades away. I kind of love uplifting episodes like these ones. Everyone. Two people. Came to settle up with Sephiroth. I have come here to chew bubblegum and settle up with Sephiroth. And I'm all out of Sephiroths. So I thought. I was led here by a guiding purpose. A guiding purpose that got lost constantly and wasted episodes just running around getting into random battles. I'm afraid of myself. Well, we are our greatest enemy. Cloud is indulging in some very deep um, philosophy here. Part of you crawling underneath your skin. Aerith might have been killed. Good thing we stopped you. Oh. Oh. Who is not really me, but is actually me. <laughs> Cloud like pulls out his... <laughs> just like unzips his thing. <laughs> There's like another guy in there. I don't know why, but I, I find that thought incredibly funny. Kate Sith is in there. Nah, man. Don't quit. There ain't no stop of this train once that we're on. But I am going. I'll never forgive Sephiroth. Ah. Like I said, no stop in the train. The coal train. Don't tell the others I almost killed them. Will you all come with me? There's only like two of us here. Sure, why not? I don't know, man. You pretty crazy, Cloud. Yeah. But! game is really slowing down here. I have no idea what the problem is. But frame rate's okay for the moment. Yeah, man, we can totally do this. Let's go. Alright, this is the end. That's a wrap of on disc one. So yeah, that was fun. 72, 73 parts to get to disc one? Or to finish disc one, yeah? Good going. Probably would have been fewer if I hadn't been so slow. But hey, we got to the end of disc one. This is only my second time getting to the end of a disc on a PS1 Final Fantasy. And though to be fair, this is a lot longer than a Final Fantasy IX. Never gotten past disc, disc two of a Final Fantasy. Hopefully we'll solve that. Well, PS1 Final Fantasies. I've beaten 10 and 13. I guess technically 13 and multiple discs. But that's not what we're talking about. All right, so almost a whole day spent playing. Awesome. Yeah, so... Um, I guess when we next meet, I'll, we'll, we'll be disc two. And we'll see what that has in store for us then. So until then...
Have a great day. God bless. And thank you for watching, because that's important too.